Hi, let's talk about the injector swap program. Here's a batch of injectors just sent in to me by Dustin from Aaron's Quality Cleaners, Clovis, California. He sent them to Wanders, that's me, Joe Brister in Kent, Washington. See his bag? Loaded up with what duct tape, no big deal. This is the way I want you guys to do it. Just throw them in a baggie send them to me let me fix them look what he's got bunch of parts bunch of injectors not a whole bunch in the way of draw tubes just the grungy old injector blocks about a 90 percent chance I can get that thing to work in like five minutes it's not hard I just need to soak it in some acid get it cleaned up look no draw tube don't need the draw tubes. I'm going to give you guys new draw tubes. But let's look at what happened here. Dustin didn't do his packaging exactly right. Luckily, it got here. See all that tape? Some postman or somebody at the post office put that on there because he was tearing a hole. Luckily, what saved his bacon is this Tyvek envelope he had used to stick the baggie in to hold all of these injectors. Okay, Tyvek bags are tough. I've already cut this with scissors to pull this baggie out. All right, here's the Tyvek bag, what it looks like new. It's free at the post office. What I'm about to explain is going to save you from even going to the post office. It's actually my web guy's idea, Jonathan. Why don't you just give them a postage paid envelope because that's part of the problem. You guys are self-admittedly kind of postal challenged I used to be when I was a cleaner too got no time for running a post office stand in line forget that garbage all right so I'm going to give you the Tyvek envelope I'm going to give you a padded envelope I don't know what this material is but it's tough it's very tough you can't hardly tear it at all guarantee you you put Tyvek envelope inside you're not going to damage this outer packaging at all nothing like this this cardboard envelope stuff don't use this guys it's garbage only cost him six seven bucks to get it to me and it'll be six or seven bucks to get it back so he'll be out fourteen dollars or so in shipping big deal he's gonna get probably at least five of these seven injectors returned to him in working order he'll get another two or three years out of each one of them that's worth the expense especially when they're only averaging twelve fifty each that's the average price uh, long term to keep these repaired for you guys using my injector swap program. Um, so Jonathan's idea was to go ahead and, and when you buy the injector swap, that's one of the bad ones, you get for $43 you get my stainless injector, you get the quick change adapter, you get a draw tube, a stainless lifetime nozzle bushing, the ball, the spring, of course, and a plastic washer in there. All you do is uh, put your white cap on there from your jug, use my draw tube, get used to that injector, you're good to go. That injector block's got a lifetime warranty. These don't. I'll do whatever I can to get them working for you. I'm about an 80% sex success rate. All right, it all starts with this right here, Jonathan's idea. You guys buy the injector swap program I'll send you this this pair of envelopes prepaid stamped whatever you want to call this label taped onto here you stuff your bad ones inside the Tyvek slide the Tyvek into the padded drop it in your little mailbox right outside on the way to work no trip to the post office isn't that cool you send me the package, I get the parts, I fix them, I advise on what needs to be done, what can be done. Uh, I'm batting about 80%, so he'll get like five of these back and work in order. And uh, that one here that's adjustable, I don't do much to these other than clean them up and change the nozzle bushing to stainless. I do that on all of these. I also give you a good quality polyurethane draw tube on all of these and of course I change the give you a stainless nozzle bushing draw tube ball spring plastic washer if you need it 
Most of them do, although he's sending me several. I'll reuse these. This is brass. This ain't going nowhere. It's good quality. Still got a lot of life. Uh, see this nozzle bushing? I don't know. Fell out probably on the way here. Garbage. Useless. It's got to be stainless. Now these things here that were basically on their last leg, we might get another three years out of them just because of that. You guys can do this at home too. If you know how to get these out, you can buy the nozzle bushing, do your own repairs. I'd love to see you do that. Uh, the main goal is to save you from going into the supply house, buying every time you have a problem with your injector, buying a sprayer, another sprayer, another sprayer, another sprayer, another sprayer, another sprayer, another sprayer. Forget all this sprayer action, guys. There's nothing wrong except the injector block, right? We all know that. Send them to somebody who knows how to fix them on the cheap. No labor charge. All I do is charge you for parts. It starts with the injector swap program. You buy one of my injectors. I send with it this envelope, which allows you to send all your bad ones back to me. I fix them on the cheap. Send them back to you. You owe me $7 each way on shipping, plus about $12.50 on the repair of each of these. And the beauty is now, this is a backup in the toolbox of each of your trucks. Your techs have a good working unit. Hopefully it's one of my lifetime stainless ones. But even them are pr prone to fail like once a year. The draw tubes don't last forever. Something might clog it up. A million things can go wrong. But 90% of the problems are going to have to do with this block. So just chop off the draw tube like he did here. Maybe it tore off from being so old and brittle. I have no idea how old these are, but I'll bet you at least five of them I'll get back to working for several years to come. Okay, They're all going to get the stainless nozzle bushing again and the draw tube and a quick change adapter. So your techs can literally take a couple of crescent wrenches, one here, one here, unscrew this, which contains your handle assembly right put on the backup that you've paid to have repaired and back to work so it's not okay for a technician to shut down halfway through the day because injectors don't work get him some backups repaired in his toolbox ready to go teach him how to use the quick change adapter problem solved you're never going to have anybody run into the supply house Say, hey, can you fix my injection sprayer? It doesn't work. Yeah, 85 bucks an hour. Come back in a couple of days. No, thank you. Okay, come over here and just buy a whole new sprayer. Wow, I guess I have to, huh? Because I got no choice. I got two jobs left today. No, that's all over with. Get in on the injector swap program. I got hundreds of guys already doing it, but there's thousands of you who aren't doing it. I need every one of you doing it. This is going to work. Jonathan's idea was genius. We're going to provide you with the envelope because so many of you guys are struggling with what's your address, Joe? Where do I send it? Okay, you don't need to worry about that. I'll take care of everything. All you got to do is say, hey, I like this concept, the injector swap program. I got an injector is going to last me a lifetime. All I got to do is pay 43 bucks and we'll do what we can with these. You're going to get most of them back. Problem solved. Any questions, give me a call, 253-653-7209. Else I will expect to see all your bad injectors and an order on the store buying one of our lifetime injector blocks. It's called the Injector Swap Program. Thanks for watching.